What's up, my beautiful Scorpios? Trust your intuition because I promise you it led you right here for a reason. So this is kind of going to be like a part one and a part two reading. So Cancer season, we are graciously hosting two full moons in Capricorn. So the first one was on June 21st. Second one is on July 21st. And right now, today, June 28th, is a last quarter moon in Aries. So that means it comes between a full moon and a new moon. So as we move between these Capricorn cycles, I want to see what the first full moon did to you and then what the next one, a little bit of a preview for that, of what it's going to bring into your life. So let's see what's going on for you, Scorpio. We're going to get started with the Oracle cards. Let's see what's going on with this energy right now with the last quarter moon in Aries. What is going on for the last quarter moon in Aries for my beautiful Scorpios? Number seven. Hello, I was born seven seven. Talk to the dead. You are never truly alone. Okay, I love that, right? Literally spiritual messages. Spirit messages where we are right now. Okay. So I had my before and after tarot. The before depicts the moments that are laid out on the Rider Weight deck. And then the after depicts the after moments on the Rider Waite deck. So let's use the before to see what's going on with that first full moon and Capricorn for my beautiful Scorpios. What did it do to them? Where is the energy now with the last quarter moon in Aries? All right, we have the four of swords in reverse Libra energy. This is feeling anxious, not meditative, not chill. Let's see why maybe we're feeling a little bit anxious. The Page of Swords, to talk to somebody, to express an idea. Let's get a little bit more. Four of Swords is Libra, Page of Swords is Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. All right, give me more for my Scorpios. Tell me more about this anxiety due to either communication, ideas, talking, what's going on? The King of Cups, feeling good. The master of feeling good, Scorpio energy. It's almost like there's this energy that the last full moon had on you of, I don't know if maybe we're getting out of a funk with the four of swords in reverse, but that's like feeling anxiety. And then the page of swords can be about communication or an idea. And then we have the king of cups, which is all about feeling good. It feels like you had to like kind of get your head space right in order to get your feeling space right. Let's get a little bit more for Scorpio. Like, maybe you were a little bit anxious, but then you kind of like, you know, maybe you were just like blindly saying your mantras or affirmations, but then it actually got you feeling really good. So let's get a little bit more. Tell, I'm hearing shuffle again. Tell me more for my Scorpios. What do they need to see? What is it that Scorpio needs to see a preview for the next full moon in Capricorn? This is my after tarot. All right. Ooh, we have the three of swords. Okay, so this is after the heartache. What does Scorpios need to see? We have the five of swords due to a betrayal, maybe. Three of swords is Libra. Five of swords is Aquarius. And then we have the seven of pentacles, Taurus energy, which is all about waiting, things germinating, a process. It's almost like you got to go through like a tough process. This feels like you're being sent through the ringer. I don't know if this is a heartache, a betrayal. This feels like it's just like this full moon is going to do something to you, Scorpio. We have the star in reverse, and it might even make you feel like there is no hope or like there is no God. But I do feel like there's something coming from all of this. Right? Maybe that's why we have this message. We have the Herald, number 17, change, transition, movement. That's interesting because we have the stars, didn't we, on the bottom? The star. Yeah, and with the Herald, this can be about, um, yeah, definitely like a Herald of change. And 17 is the number of the star. That's why I mentioned that. It, it's almost like you're being drug through the ringer Scorpio because the universe is trying to send you a message about someone or something again number seven 
Oh, it's the seven of diamonds there. Number 12, excitement, chatter, anxiety. Yeah, I'm getting definitely something about anxiety. Maybe this is like, maybe you're anxious about the way something's going to play out. It's, it might even be like a worse fear for you. We have the sun. But on the other side of all of this, something is going to work out. All right, let's get a little bit more for Scorpio. What is it that Scorpio needs to see? Last quarter moon in Aries. Where are we now with Scorpio? Fixating on the past won't help you stay present. Yeah, there's definitely something about moving forward. Your spirit guides are all around you. Um, but it almost feels like you need, like the universe is sending you a harsh message about getting away from someone's energy. Maybe that's why you feel anxious. I'm hearing the universe is sending you a love letter. We're going to get a spirit message for Scorpio. Your story is not over. And it could just be over with this person or this situation. But in general, your story is not over, Scorpio. So I hope that resonated. If it did, head on over to themoonempress.com for a personal reading. Um, I also have my Patreon listed, or I should have it listed in the box below. Um, along with my email, 333theempress at gmail.com if you want to get in touch with me and my Etsy. So thank you so much, and I will talk to you later, Scorpio.